Whereas before we went from matrix to lists, now we're going to go from lists to build a matrix. So for this, we need to go to the matrix menu and then go to the math menu from there and select 9, which is list. Now here, the lists are going to be your columns. So in this case, we're going to reconstitute matrix A, which has been put into list L1, L2, and L3. So now to build matrix A and reconstitute it as I, this is what I'll do. I'll put L1, comma, meaning that's going to be my first column, and then L2, and then L3, and then the last comma, and then the matrix name. So I'm going to go to my matrix menu again, and scroll down, and select 9 for I. So basically, L1 and L2 and L3 will serve as the first, second, and third columns of matrix I. And to make sure this works, we can go to the matrix menu, select 9 for I, press enter, look it's 2, 3, 9, 5, 2, 17. Now to check to make sure it's the same as matrix A, the original matrix, we can compare. Great, it works. One comment, the longest column will dictate the number of rows for the target matrix. So for example, if list 1 is 3 elements, list 2 is 3 elements, and list 3 is 5 elements, the target matrix will have 5 rows and the missing elements will have a value of 0. Also, lists involving complex numbers are not valid in this function.